We've been keeping you up to date on what's been happening with the Honduran Community Relief Team in Honduras as they've been using the funds that have come in, that have been donated, and going in the strength of your prayers, bringing much needed food to many people in Honduras. Today though, instead of bringing you an update on that, I'd like to take a little side road into a little village in Honduras and tell you what God has been doing there. Now, several men from our Honduran Community Relief Team were in that area passing out food and they came across a family that had a very interesting situation. They had a mud brick house with no roof on it. And the rainy seasons were a week or two away. And this group of men decided this can't continue. And so not using any funds from the Honduran Community Relief Fund, they were able to secure some building materials and they were able to put a roof over that family's house. Now, when I first saw that situation, when I first saw that home and what had happened there, I had pity, I guess you could say. But then gratitude sprang to my mind. First of all, quite honestly, I was grateful for my own situation. But I was also grateful, the more I thought about it, that God brought that team of men to that community and brought them to that family and laid it on their heart that this can't continue, something must be done. So, praise God from whom all blessings flow. I just wanted to tell you about that. Now, if you would like to be a part of the Honduran Community Relief Fund, we are still going strong down there. There's still much to do. And so we've been putting the contact information on the screen. You can go to the web address and leave a donation if you're able. But please pray. Please pray for the efforts of the Honduran Community Relief Team and for the needs of the people, well, not only in Honduras, but worldwide.